Now you can create 3D models uh, with Meta from a single image uh, and you can create uh, multiple objects, you can detect bodies and create bodies posture with Meta with this new AI model uh, called Sum 3D. So what you can do, you can get object reconstruction, body pose and shape, shape reconstruction, real world and 3D perception and all these stuff that are very cool and and in the future, I think they are coming with more better um, high quality 3D meshes, but the results are very good and are amazing. And I want to show you how it works. So um, we are going to do try the playground and we're going in the playground here. Okay, here's something about, but like you can go to play playground, login if needed, and you can create visual cutouts, create images, uh, 3D scenes, and bodies. For the purpose of this video, I'm going just to see how it works to create 3D scenes and maybe the bodies. So let's go to create 3D scenes. We have different images here, but I want to try to uh, select uh, my images uh, and different objects from my image. So I'm going to select my image here that I just downloaded from Pixabay or Pexel. I don't remember. And here I have my images. So how it works is like we can select one of the objects here. So I'm going to select this sofa, for example. And okay, this is the tutorial. So this sofa is selected. I just need to maybe perfection it a little the selection. Yes. And then the legs, let's see. And these other legs in the front, probably. Yes, that's great. So let's generate the 3D model. Let's see how long it takes. And let's see. So the 3D model is being generated. Maybe it's finished. Wow. Like <laughs> this is the 3D model. It's incredible. It's very accurate almost. Okay. Maybe it's not so detailed, but it's much better than what I saw till now with a lot of startup. Like this is amazing. You can move it. You can rotate the object, of course. You can probably scale it and regenerate the latest um, center camera object and then recenter the scene. Any case, this is amazing. And I want actually, we can add to effects. So some 3D effects, uh, let's say heat map. <laughs> I think we can record kind of a video, no? Recent scene and what you can do here like are there a lot of cool stuff that maybe they are not useful for now but yeah we can add the background images and, and like if you can create your if you can put your background well this is going to be amazing and for now it just you know <laughs> you can share it incredible so i want to see maybe to try another image or maybe let's try the same image that I have. So let's come back here and let's load again the image. But let's try a more far away object so to see if actually gets it. So let's see this TV maybe. Okay, yes, tutorial, blah, blah, blah. So this is the TV. If I could zoom on the image, that would be good. But I can't. So because I want to see the base of the TV. You have to be, no. No, no, no. Yeah, to be very specific. So I cannot capture the base of the TV, maybe. No, nothing. Okay, but I'm going to try to uh, generate the TV or maybe. No. Okay, generate the TV. Let's see. Okay. Wow. Nice. The TV is less perfect, maybe because it's far away. It's, uh, it's not able to reproduce the texture very well but yes of course like if you're using this for like e-commerce of the some game you know it's like you can take a better picture a better image where the object is more center like uh, this sofa here and of course it's going to do a better job and i want to try with the human bodies because <laughs> this is amazing so let's see with image and let's see what it can do so Let's take this and generate all people. Wow, this is incredible because also the rigged body, like, <laughs> this is incredible. Unfortunately, you cannot download and unfortunately you cannot download this 3D model. Uh, I could try to maybe uh, log in, actually maybe sign up because I never sign up. And okay, so I'm signing up uh, with my Instagram account right now. 
and see if actually uh, I can download the image. Okay. So I uh, did the login and what the login is about is like I have like the logout and my templates for now I have nothing. But I want to try again with uploading my image and scene and see if I actually can download the object because if I can do it, it will be very good. So again, let's try this this time. So well, the image I selected. Let's see if it's creating good also this other object. So we have the legs actually. It's gonna work, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. So now I have the scene my 3d object and let's see if i no i don't have mine in my templates i do not have anything here so view managers and outputs i don't know why but maybe because it just went out but guys this is amazing uh, you should have tried this uh, go to aidemos.meta.com and try this uh, some 3d it's amazing and when it will go to you know add more and more feature this is will be very fun to use it.